Okay, so the two things that you'll need in order to get this part hosted is a GitHub account and a Heroku account. So if you head over to github.com, make a login, which is free. Same thing with Heroku. If you go to heroku.com, make an account, log in for free, then you'll be prepped for this next part. So once you have both those accounts created, you're gonna go ahead and navigate to this URL. I'm gonna put it in the description and hopefully a little link up here. All you need to do is actually just click this fork button. And once you click that fork button, you're gonna have a clone of all of this code available in your GitHub. So now we need to host this code online and we're gonna use Heroku to do that. So if you hit new right here, we can create a new app. We're gonna give it a name and this is actually gonna become the website name later on. So this is gonna be, give it a name, not identical because it has to be unique, but something like our socket server and I'm going to create this and then click on this connect to GitHub. It'll prompt you to log in. And next you can search for socket dash server. We'll connect it to this repo. And this is gonna be the code that gets deployed to the website. You can go ahead and keep all of these settings default and then just click on deploy branch. This will take some time to load. Awesome. Okay, so now that it's ready, you can click on view. That'll navigate us over to the website and that's it. Okay, now that we have this hosted, we can actually take this URL here and make sure to copy it without HTTPS because we're gonna need to change the protocol afterwards. So just copy our socket server where whatever the name of yours is, .herokuapp.com, copy that. And we can actually now use that in the website and in Touch Designer, and we'll be using this server in order to send our information. If you are coming here from the body tracking tutorial, this is all that you need in order to keep going. So feel free to follow along for more. Um, but if you want to get the component set up, this is the URL that you need to get started. <laughs>